I'm not in the mood for company right now. All right, I just wanted to see how you were, but I'll Lu come back later. Louise, no, come in. Come in. Where's Sheridan? No, she left. I was tired. Oh. You sure I'm not disturbing you? I, I can come back. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm just surprised to see you back so soon. I thought you were going to be busy with Sam downstairs for a while. Yeah, well, it didn't take as long as I thought. How are you? OK, now that you're here. I wish I could stay with you around the clock. That's all right. The murder case comes first. If I'm ever going to be a good cop, I have to understand priorities. You are going to be a great cop. Anyway, in the meantime, you know, you've got people around you that love you, like Sheridan. I know how close you are, right? Right. I'm so sorry for everything that you've been through. Well, it could have been worse. Thank God it wasn't. Listen, I want you to know that I'm going to find the scum that did this to you if it's the last thing that I do. Not now, Luis. I don't want to think about it now. Of course. Sorry. So, uh, how are things going with J.T. Cornell's murder investigation? Good. The coroner is doing a report right now, and Sam's doing his preliminary report. What about suspects? Have you narrowed it down any? Mm, not really. Since JT was evidently blackmailing half a harmony, there are a lot of suspects. I guess I shouldn't be so surprised that so many people hated JT. I knew he was an unsavory character when we were in Rome. Well, he spent so many years as editor of that tabloid that, uh, According to Sam, he collected dirt on half the people in Harmony. God, who would have thought there were so many people keeping secrets in our little town? <laughs> well, you were away for quite a while. Something tells me if you'd been here all those years, you wouldn't be so surprised. Well, I won't be leaving anytime soon. At least I hope not. Well, that makes two of us. So many terrible things have happened recently. My attack and JT Cornell's murder in the middle of Chad and Whitney's wedding. What a terrible way to begin their married life. I just hope they're okay. Happy New Year. I was afraid this night would never come. I didn't want to admit it, but. I was terrified myself. I thought we'd never be together again. Well, that's all behind us now, isn't it? You know I never stopped loving you. So you realize that things could have never worked out between you and Fancy? Yeah, I was kidding myself to think we ever had a prayer. No doubt that she loved you, and you did care about her. Well, yeah, of course I did. But it was never the same. With her as it was, is, with you. Shame I had to hurt her, though, because she really thought that we were meant to be together. Only you knew better, didn't you? Of course I did. Every time I saw you, I knew who I was meant to be with. But you're not saying that you broke up with Fancy because of anything that I did, are you? Because she is still my niece, and I would hate myself if I was responsible for any of her heartbreak. No. No, do not blame yourself. It was my decision, my decision only. That's a relief. Yeah. As difficult as it was to hurt her, it was the right thing to do. You are the only woman that I will ever love. Fancy 
I never love you like this. Only we can feel this way. Yes. So glad that you're feeling stronger. Well, it's all because of you. You saved my life, you know. Yeah, I just wish I could have stopped yeah, it. I know. Well, the important thing is that you're all right. I'm more than all right. I'm so looking forward to the new year, Louise. Me too. I graduate from the academy, and I won't be a rookie anymore. And you know what that means. Yeah. We can finally be together the way.